Hi. Um. <laughs> Hold on. I hit record a little prematurely there. Uh, is Isaac speed up? I guess, man. There's a tinted rock in there too. So, I tried the reverse psychology yesterday and uh, played Eve, despite not being a big fan of playing Eve. Um, I think she's okay. I made out like I really hated her yesterday, but like that's not the case. But um, it dawned on me that, like, I guess the reverse psychology is, is the way to go now, and that I have to just play characters that I don't necessarily want to play. Um, in order to get through this, uh, this greed nightmare that we're in. So, I'm playing Lilith today. And, I mean, so far, I've taken half a heart of damage to one of my black hearts, which is not the best, but, like, could be much worse. Lord knows that, like, we've had runs that have gone worse than this already. Um, I will remain optimistic just because... Ow. Uh, I'm less optimistic now, but I'm much less optimistic now. But, like, Box of Friends is pretty good on greed. At least it, sh it should be good on greed. I think, yeah, so now it's just bosses, so we can kind of stick it out, I think, to get all these done while we have all of these familiars. Um, although, oh, no. <laughs> um, it's going to be tough with only half a heart in tow. Especially when the creep won't go away as fast as we'd like it to. Hold on, I'm a little bit tense all of a sudden. Oh, this is like an absolute nightmare. What? Hold on, we can get rid of these first. If, if my guys fire enough, the gurglings shouldn't even be able to get to me. Oh my god, that's amazing. Um, and then we get you. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, so we can push our luck one more time, but we will die if we get hit, which is, like, something that's been happening. So I think I'm just going to have to take the L here and just go on without all of my dudes to ensure that this is not another loss. At some point, you've got to, like, be a bit of an adult about it and, like, accept that you need to do things you don't necessarily want to do. That's part of growing up. That's a little bit of a sage wisdom from me there. Some wafer? is pretty nice, I think. I think we take full heart damage by the end of this. Were there any bombs in here? There were not? Okay, no, I mean, that's unfortunate, but... Hold on, my voice is going a little bit here. Let me drink some water. I'm gonna do a quick throat clear, be right back. Hi, I'm back. Um, it's not much better, but okay, this is iffy. I'm glad that I went back for the HP because Monstro sometimes a little rogue something will hit you it does mean that this fight is going to take a whole minute because they just Monstro has a lot of HP and, and uh, Larry's kind of hard to hit but we should be all in all like pretty much uh, oh, pretty much fine um, what's been happening with me you know I've just been hanging man I today went to oh no Oh, no, no, no. Please, no. <laughs> um, went to the Asian market that's near where I live. Okay, wait. I thought that was him dying. Never mind. I'm back to worried mode. Um, oh, please. Okay, I died. That's fine. It's early enough that we can run it back. That sucks, though, because the wafer's really good. Listen, it's my fault. I, another speed... <laughs> I've seen this episode before, I think. Um, it's my fault. I took, like, way too much damage on the, in the first, the first phase. The first set of waves. This is a fucking nightmare. Can you get out of there? I'm actually, like, already getting tilted. Hey, we need to just breathe for a minute. Listen, we had a, a shot at a win streak and you blew it immediately. You'll get no sympathy from me. Sorry, I'm just, uh, I'm just letting myself have it for a minute here. Maybe if I, if I discipline myself a little, I'll start playing better. I am, like, you know, I've, I'm in, like, a bit of a brain rot state today, because I, I did virtually nothing all day. That, it, like, I, I woke up, I had a half day at work, so I, I did that, and then I had, like, the whole afternoon to myself. And I'll tell you what I did, I slept, like, a lot. 
I slept like an awful lot and it's not it's not been good for me. Like I needed to sleep because I've not been sleeping too well lately. You've already heard this one before though. Um but I just it was too much sleep, you know? You know like you can get not enough sleep and then you can get too much sleep. This was too much sleep. I shouldn't have done it. I should have stayed awake. And I tried to stay awake, but like I just had nothing else going on, you know? It might have been better for me if I'd had work. Um but, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, I mean, I've already taken half a heart damage here, but this is, like, so far significantly better than last time. As long as we keep our wits about us, we should be able to... Haunt is maybe fine. Um, we should be able to get through the rest of this with most of our health intact. Um... But yeah, I went, like I said, so I had a half day at work, and then I went to the, I slept a bunch, and then I went to the Asian market. And I bought, you're dying to know what I bought, I know you are, some, uh, some noodles. Ow. I bought some noodles, I bought some, uh, oh no, some cornstarch. I don't know if you remember me talking about uh, wanting to make, like, Korean-style KFC, like the super crispy triple fried stuff. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to go straight to, like, the triple frying Korean style, but, like, I wanted to make some crispy chicken. And to my understanding, the way that Korea makes that happen is with cornstarch. So I bought some cornstarch. Um, excuse me? Oh, it's a worm. It's two worms. This is fine, I think. Um, I... What else did I buy? So I bought some egg noodles, I bought some cornstarch, and I bought some... Se sorry, my nose. I bought some sesame oil. Um, I wanted the sesame oil for a recipe that I had seen. For some some delicious... Oh, this is kind of nice, actually. Um, for some delicious spinach. Um, which was... You know, I say delicious spinach. I haven't eaten it yet. My game plan right now... It is, it is Friday. It is the second Friday in my two two weekly schedule and my fortnightly schedule um which means that oh we're gonna take habit for sure um oh my god this is amazing uh what what that means is it is initiative and intrigue night and what that means hold on and what that means is that i'm gonna be playing dnd on twitch.tv slash alexbomb, that's A-E-L-X-B-O-M-B. When this video comes out, it will be Saturday, so you'll have already missed it. So don't don't worry too much about catching it. I'm recording this on the Friday night. I record them a day early. But I have um, I have a good few hours until it's time for Initiative and Intrigue. It's, hang on, I'll check the time in a second. It's like 9 o'clock, and Initiative and Intrigue starts at 12, my time. Um... So what that means for me is that I have like some three hours. So what I'm gonna do is after I've recorded this, I'm gonna make the, I'm gonna make the tasty, um, I'm gonna make the tasty, I forget what the food is called, spinach recipe. And then I'm gonna record some more Isaac. So you're gonna see me again in a little bit. And the reason for that is just, I'm trying to take every opportunity I can to batch record so that I'm ahead of schedule, in case the worst happens and, like, you know, I'm hospitalized for multiple days. I don't have any reason to suspect I'm going to be hospitalized for multiple days. And honestly, like, I'm invincible, and I have diamond bones, so I don't think it's likely that I will. I say I'm invincible. I used to be invincible, man. I used to have, like, a really good diet because my parents would cook for me. And then I became, like, a self-sufficient adult. And just kind of stopped having good food cooked for me, and I think my immune system just just tanked from that. I mean, we're kind of cracked out right now. This is kind of good for us, I think. We have no keys again, which is a letdown, but that's, that's fine for now. If we can bag... Um, the, the way that I won with Lilith the last time I played her, this is amazing. I have no way of getting it. Oh my fucking god, I cannot believe this. I actually have no way of getting it. I have to go into the devil room, the curse room. This is not good enough. I can't fucking believe this.
What am I gonna do? I want this. <laughs> it's... Um... This is a fucking nightmare. Okay, wait. We can go down and see if maybe there's like a poop or something down here. Can you drop like a coin maybe? Just like magically? No? I'm so tilted right now. That is the item that we need. And I can't get it. I, oh, this is infuriating. Okay. I'm gonna drink some water quickly to just soothe myself. But yeah, when I was a kid, oh, I mean, um, Bird's Eye is going to be pretty tasty, I think. Uh, don't really care for you. You're pretty nice. We already have a lot of tears up, dude. You know what? Fine. I think it's going to end in tears, but I'm going to do it. Sure. Um, let's use you and let's start shooting. Hold up, hold up. I need you to to open your neck in a minute. Whoa. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, when I was a kid I had food cooked for me all the time and my immune system was great and then I grew up and started cooking for myself. And by that I mean stopped cooking for myself. Or well, stopped having cooked meals at all. And just started eating, like, cereal and takeout all the time. And I've become the husk of a man that you see before you today who's always tired and sick. So the game plan is get really into cooking Korean food. I have my rice cooker. I have spinach. I have cornstarch and uh, sesame oil. So we're, like, you know, primed and ready, I think, in, in my personal opinion. Um... We did get habit at least, that's something. Like if we start taking damage during the boss fight at the end, during Ultra Greed, we should just be able to like, get stronger. Um, sorry, I got a little distracted. So, so I, I like, I've already talked about this before, you've heard this one before already, I know you have, but I want to get really into Korean food. We can afford to take this because we can get both. Um, I don't really care about creep, but this is nice. That's whatever. Um, let's take Bird's Eye. Let's take you. And we'll go down from there, I think. Let's go. Um, what was I saying? I said something. Anyway. Um, oh yeah, I really want to get into cooking Korean food because a lot of it doesn't look too hard and it all looks really delicious. And that's the path that I choose for myself. A seven cents for an HP up is pretty good. So we'll probably bag that in a minute. This is something. Are we anywhere near conjoined? Because that would be nice. Uh, ooh. What else have I got going on? Honestly, not a ton besides the, the getting into cooking. I've been threatening to do it for a long time. And I think the, the moment is finally uh, almost upon us. I have a bunch of new ingredients, I have a bunch of new recipes, I just have to actually make them. Uh, I've got like gochujang and stuff sitting in my, in my pantry. In my, I don't have a pantry, in my, in my like cupboards. And, you know, it's just, it's just begging to be used. I just haven't done it. I just gotta do it. That's honestly it. The only thing stopping me is myself. Like, a lot of people, I, man, actually, this is some good, this is some good segue business, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I've, so, I, uh, for the last year, have been, well, for the last few years, but, like, intermittently, um, been, like, playing the dating game. I'm a young adult, it happens. And, there are some, like, wacko people out there. Some, like, crazy, crazy, uh, like, people in my age bracket. I'm 24. So some, some, some wild, some wildin' youths out there. This is kind of sick. Um, just saying and doing some crazy stuff. And I think in the realm of stuff that I found the most crazy is people who are, like, 
really um like spiritual now i'm not trying to just dunk on spirituality over here but like the spiritual people that i've had the pleasure of talking to have been bananas um like we're talking i have no shot speed dude um i think the the craziest thing that i've ever had said to me by someone on a dating app was uh, I said something along the lines of, I, I can't remember why, we were talking about just like social issues or something, because like we're young and that's what we do. And, um, okay. Uh, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna, hold on, I'm sorry, my nose is, is blocked like crazy. I thought I was out of this mess, but apparently I'm still very much in it. Um... I'm not going to dignify that book with a pickup for the sake of bookworm, because I just don't think it's going to happen. Um, but I don't remember why we were talking about social issues. I think I had also just moved to the town that I'm living in now, and there are there are a lot of homeless people here. There is a, a serious homelessness problem here, and it is very unfortunate. And I was talking about that because it, it it was present in my hometown as well, but like... My hometown was a lot bigger, so, you know, it was less concentrated. And so I was I was talking about that, and I said something along the lines of, it, it sucks because, like, you know, there's nothing that can be done about it a lot of the time. Um, and, like, people are just put into screwed up circumstances that, you know... Like, I think there's a, a common misconception from certain groups of people that, like, homelessness is the result of being, like, careless or, um, or irresponsible or immature. Oh my god. I mean, you know, what, am I, what, what could I do? I don't really have a lot of choices in the matter. Um, Jesus, I'm, I'm, am I coming down with it again? Maybe I am. I have had my window open for, like, days. I've just been sitting here, like, in the cold. Um, mm, 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 what was I saying? Oh, yeah, that it's it's not a choice that people can really make. And, like, I know you could probably like, well, who would choose to be homeless? But, like, the, the implication being that it's carelessness or, or irresponsibility. And, you know, not taking school or work seriously and laziness or something like that. It's not the case. Some people get born into really screwed up circumstances and there's nothing they can do about it. Um, and I was talking to this person about it, and they said something like, I think they said something along the lines of, I believe that you can put your, like, you can do anything you set your mind to, you can manifest things for yourself kind of energy. And I responded with, well, I don't know if that applies to homelessness. And they're like, well, I would disagree. And I was like, wait, are you implying that you can manifest not being homeless? Because that's, like, a little bit wild, man. That might just be me that thinks that. If I am, then I got some questions. But, like, to imply that you can manifest, you know, you can manifest a job when you've got, like, no place to live and no qualifications and this and that, it's kind of whack. That's just my take on the on the situation. I'm going to take Trisasian here. Um, and then I'm going to take 64 coins down with me and pray that... This is enough somehow for me to um, hit 500 and be on greedier after this run. And not only that it's enough, but also that like I don't get scammed out of putting all my coins in the dono machine like I did last time. Now I know things might seem a little bit similar in the form of um, we have like a really good build here. And actually, look at the damage I'm doing. Never mind, we're like cracked out. There's like absolutely no fucking way that I lose this. I was gonna do a whole speech about, like, I know we've been here before and we've been like, this is a, a one run and shouldn't be able to lose. So just, like, go in, spam the boss and win. But, like, it's already over and I've already won. So there isn't really much else to be said. If this all goes in, then this is enough. Holy fucking shit, we've done it. <laughs> it was exactly 500! Oh my god! Oh, I'm free. 
I'm free from regular greed. Are we out of greed altogether? No, it's time for greedier. You're asking yourself, why would you subject yourself to this now? It's simple. The episodes aren't too long, and this is a time in my life where I favor shorter episodes. And on top of that, um, I want to unlock the Keeper. So, yeah. That's, I think, the game plan for the next however long. But, like, it's good because it's greedier now, so... I don't have to have, like, existential crises every time I lose because, like, I'm making zero progress. Like, losing runs is one thing. Losing runs when you're just trying to unlock, like... It's, it's stressful. I'll explain next episode, okay? I'll explain next time. Anyway, I'll see you there. If you made it this far into the episode, then thank you very much. I will catch you tomorrow. Bye.